Métis women are strong. They are the knowledge keepers. And I think they are the ones that take special care of our history and our heritage. I take my role as a Métis woman really seriously. We've held on to the stories that's been passed down from one woman to the next, from one generation to the next. Most history books get written by men, and men have an unfortunate tendency to focus on what other men were doing. But when you listen to the oral histories, listen to people talk about life, nothing happens without the women. In the early days of the fur trade, Métis women were very, very adept at their snowshoes, and they could canoe, they could hunt, and the women knew the contacts. They were like the agents. It was the woman that got in contact with all the other women of the other families to plan the bison hunt. After the hunt was over, the women just took over. They prepared the meat, they looked after the hides. They had a major, major role. One of the things that Parks Canada and its community partners have been trying to do in recent years is better reflect the fact that there's a lot of different stories that go to make up Canadian history. We see that at Touron's Coulee with the story of Madame Touron and all of the crises and obstacles that she overcame. We see it with Louis Riel's mother at Riel House. And just recently, we've designated Charlotte Small as a person of national historic significance. Charlotte Small should be recognized because she was a great contributor to the fur trade. She represents all those Métis women who went before and came after. My great-great-great-grandmother, Joseph de Turand, she raised her large family. Making sure there's food on the table, making sure the kids are safe, or trying to. Basic values. She didn't set out to be a heroine, and yet, this is how it turned out. You don't have to carry a gun to be a hero. My grandma's the one that kept everything rolling. She was the cook, she looked after the children, she sold the clothes, she kept the hired men fed. My mom has always been very hard working. And she could work any man under the table, that's for sure. She hunted and trapped. She snared enough rabbits to save up to get a watch. The woman is the strong part of the family because she's the one looking after the kids, see that there was enough food for the family and the laundry. You had to be strong to live that life. My grandmother dried meat for pemmican, and they used to dry the berries. So this was a big thing with the women. They were in charge of the livelihood of, of the families. I've always said strong women, strong families, Strong families, strong communities. I'm inspired so much by the women in our history. There's that connection that we have that isn't defined by here and now and today. There's something very spiritual about it, and so it's important to carry our stories forward.